trying to create a place that is uh, supportive to people who inhabit it, who that also brings good to places around it, and uh, with being sustainable, being emotionally sustainable, not causing new traumas to society, trying uh, to make as less harm to the planet as we can. Yes, for sure Georgia became a place where a lot of Russians are escaping. So, but those people in Russia who just moved and they also all in this agenda of the war, of them escaping Russia and so on, when they come here they feel like all oh, this kind of a place out of context, you know, like a bubble uh, that exists on their own because this atmosphere and the forest and everything, you kind of get lost from the agenda and this is good for their emotional State. It's not that we are ignoring the war, actually most of the people with Russian background here, they were activists or still are, they went to protests and so on. So there, are, there is nobody here who supported Putin before war. Yeah. For We came to this point because a lot of people did not do it in the past, actively protesting, actively um, being against corruption. And uh, in this, in, at this point I agree with Ukrainians because, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, maybe now it is almost impossible. We see like in Belarus what happened, a lot of people came to the streets and were physically engaged with police and so on. And, um, but it did not do anything. So maybe sometimes to kill the evil, you should leave it alone. And you know, it will destroy itself from within probably.